what does travel say about men, women, and about the way they act toward each other? In a short story, Trifle, Susan Glasgow present to readers the difference between men and women, the roles they play in the society in the end of tw at the end of 19th and beginning of 20th century, the ways people communicated at that times and the way they saw the world around them. At that time, women had a minor social role and emphasized reproductive role. Therefore, their job was to raise children and take care of their homes and husbands. It actually shows us that women's role were determined by their husband's behavior and decisions. At the beginning of stories, Susan Glasspers want to present Minnie's confusion state of mind through messy kitchen and unfinished work. Unwashed pens under the sink, a loaf of bread outside the bread box, a dish towel on the table. Minnie couldn't keep up anymore with John and suddenly she decided to kill him. Therefore, she left and finished work in the kitchen and behaved nervous afterwards while swinging on the chair. Also, through the story, Susan Glasswell wanted to show us the way how men talk to women. The most of the time, it was with degradation and sarcasm. The example is when Miss Peters expressed her sorrow for freezing of Minnie's preserves. The sheriff says, well, can you be the woman of a murderer and worrying about her preserves? Hence, in that kind of patriarchal society, men never took seriously women's feelings and thoughts. The title of story is ironic and shows us that what is silly and trifle to men is actually the key for solving the murder. Two women, Miss Peters and Miss Hale, are the ones who actually found the evidence for murder. They discovered a suffocated canary and a broken bird cage that could prove that Minnie was guilty. They decided not to tell anything about that to the man. The reason was that they concluded why Minnie did that. Because John was emotionally cold to Minnie and killed the cheerful bird, Minnie has her revenge by consciously choking her own husband. We see that John was emotionally cold through Miss Hale's description. He was a hard man, Miss Peters. Just to pass the time of day with him, shivers, like a raw wind that gets to the bone. Miss Hale knew Minnie from young age and remembers how Minnie was a totally different person before she got married. She was a very cheerful person, lively and independent. She used to wear pretty clothes and be lively when she was Minnie Foster, one of the town girls singing in the choir. During the years spent with John, she got fed up with his oppression and tried to fight for her rights. John tried to kill her spirit through killing the bird and that resulted in a family conflict between two of them. At the end of the story, Susan Glasspool wants to show us that their duty towards her fellow women is more important than the law and the two women are going to stay loyal to their gender. When the attorney asked Miss Hale about whether Miss Wright was going to kill or not her killed, Miss Hale answers, we call it nodded. The word nod has two meanings here. One is that Minnie was going to actually nod the kilt, and the other meaning was that Minnie nodded the rope around John's neck when she choked him. This action proves that Minnie had finally shown her power, just like she showed just like she should have done it a long time ago. By my opinion, it means that they probably have a hidden desire to do the same thing with their husbands as revenge to the constant oppression from the men and break men's domination over women. In this story, the male characters are presented as intellectually superior to their wives and opposed or described female characters win ingenious way to secretly win over male prejudice.